What is up digital creators? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and customize lists on your website using Web Studio's list component. To get started, head over to your components and find the list component. Drag that onto your canvas. And we're gonna start off by adding a couple of items. I'm going to simply duplicate the items by holding Command or Control D on the keyboard so that it's easy to see what we're customizing in our list. From there, with our list selected, want to head over to settings you can start by defining the type of list is this an ordered or an unordered list do we want to change the starting number if this is an ordered list and do we want the list to be reversed or not in this case i just want it to be an ordered list that starts from its default number with my list type defined i can then define the list style type for different items i can do this for all list items within a list by changing the style type or I can change any individual list item style by selecting it and then styling that individual item. I can also modify the content of each of my list items by either double clicking on the text to edit it, or I can add additional components inside of a list by simply dragging them onto the canvas. In this case, I only want a simple text list, so I'm going to remove the image. Once you've finished adding your content to your list, you can style either the list as a whole or the individual list items. I'm going to style the list items by adding a design token that I've created so that they all have the same look and feel. I'm simply going to select each item and add my new design token. And if I wanted to change any of the other styles, I can do so by updating them in the styles panel. And that's pretty much it. That is how you can create and customize a list on your website using Web Studio's list component. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see in a future video. Make sure you follow, subscribe and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest Web Studio progress. And in the meantime, I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.